I-25 baby road movie. It's pretty broad, road movie. Huh? It's pretty broad. Yeah, road movie. I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but we'll find out. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. We'll see. We can. We can. We've got a car cam, so we can use that. You know. Yeah, definitely. Okay, where's my riders? Come riders. to me, buddy. Oh, just film me. Okay. Here we is. Kevin is. here? Not yet, but we're gonna start without him right now. Because time is of the essence. Yes. Yeah. So they're they were on the three ideas, right? They're basing their on three ideas for the writing. And they chose a screenplay about well, this Red Rover based idea where this guy has a boring job, wants to go off. And he joins this guy in a mission to do something he loves, and that's Red Rover. And it's like this all-out brutal game. It's like Fight Club meets Dodgeball meets Mighty Ducks. So it's going to be, you know, a ridiculous story, but we think we are all we all like it, so it'll be fun to shoot. Red Rover, Red Rover, send the bank manager on over, Marcus. Bank manager? Is that all I am to you? Yeah. Mar <laughs> uh, yes. Marcus charges. Dwayne and Stretch brace themselves for a blow, but instead Marcus soars over them. Dwayne watches him go over in disbelief. When he lands, there's a moment of silence. Referee. Game! The crowd game! goes wild and hoists Marcus onto their shoulders. How is that game to Kids is not a problem. Motorcycle, we have a couple of those. Uh, a tire to change? Yeah, they said the dashboard is covered in candy wrappers. Okay, I think we're good. Sleep, man. Awesome. Everyone can sleep. I actually demand you guys to fight. What's the backstory with Dwayne and Marcus? I'm starting to get hungry. They played against each other in extreme Red Rover before. But there Marcus may dropped out once he got a job at the bank. Is there any way to make that more apparent on If you have all it takes is one line. I could say something. Black and white flashback. I should be in the circus 96. Obsessive compulsive. Okay. And so you're going to come up here and slam this down. You're going to notice this and you'll be like, oh. That's how we manage the guy. Sorry, she parked it. Camera number two. Okay. My real? My name? Yeah. I'm Kurt. Hey, how you doing, big guy? Bobby Jackson here. Uh, I'm on the list. Now on the list. Okay, here's the situation. Uh, the storm has started and uh, we can no longer use the, the roof on top of the Sears Tower for uh, Sears building for uh, our ultimate fight scene in the end, which is the climactic conclusion, the biggest scene in the whole movie. So we are now having to use the basement underneath the apartment. Alan, tell me about your editing so far. Huh? What do you think of the editing so far? It's going all right. I took out some better parts. Well. They're still enjoying it? Yeah. So I finally go, we've been wanting the whole time. We get the, we get the rain, we get the night feeling, and we get this face with the shit. It's supposed to be a dark movie, fight club, slash dodgeball. We've got the dodgeball covered, not that good, but now we get the, the David Fincher, darker, more stylish than that ever. The beats is going to be in it. It's going to make it. Dodge it! It's perfect. We should make, remake the whole movie tonight. Remake it. Don't even write a script. Just go with the flow. And action. Remember, there'll be no schoolyard bullshit here. No switching sides. Elimination will be by breach or incapacitation only. 
We technically were done shooting at what 2 a.m. last yesterday. Yeah. 2 a.m. We're done shooting, and woke up at noon. Woke up at noon to edit. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But Alan was. Well, I had I had more than half of the yeah. movie edited before. He wants Alan needs sleep or he wouldn't have been able to edit. Go, ready, go. Stairs, man. Yeah, I'm not sure. Get back to work! <laughs> <laughs> 